Life is strange but beautiful. You'd be surprised how many people go through the same thing. But with the new social media age, everyone's so disconnected. Are our friends even actually our friends? Everyone my age is either having kids or getting married. Honestly, good for them. But what about me? What about the lost generation of 20 year olds that don't know what to do with their lives. Even the ones that have it all on social media, how perfect their lives are. Their lives aren't perfect. I think the moment we all stop lying to the world is the moment where we see actual change. Life works a lot better when people kill their egos. In my world, I'm convinced every emotion is on a vibrational frequency, on a scale called the Omega Scale of Consciousness. Essentially, it tells you all about emotions, and as you can see, every ego-driven emotion is in the lower vibrational scale. One emotion that seems to linger for me is anger. I think anger is a common lower vibrational emotion that a lot of people experience. But we must learn to stop being angry, especially at our past. I can't keep being angry at my past. Don't get me wrong, it's, a, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to have those feelings of resentment, you know, but I can't keep reminiscing on stuff that didn't work out and stuff that I didn't deserve. <laughs> There's gonna be people that think that I deserve the stuff that I go through sometimes, but I don't deserve any of any of the past stuff that I've had to deal with. And you know, I try to think about the future, I try to remain present, but sometimes the past is just always there and it, it reminds you, like, I really didn't deserve that. I, and it's not just, it's not just like from like, from like, I don't know, 10 years ago past, this is like, even most recent stuff, it's like, I didn't deserve any of that, but it still keeps happening. And sometimes I wonder, I wonder why. Why, why, did, why do things like this happen to me? Why do literal situations where it's like, oh my God, what is even happening? Literally happens to me. And instead of, after a while of asking why, I started to ask more questions. And then I realized, God doesn't put me in any situation that he knows that I can't handle. It might be hard, it might be tough, but he knows that I will make it at the end. And it's so sad because sometimes, sometimes when you think that the past is like, it's gone, you know, it comes back. Like for, for example, I put my abuser away, um, but there's this new, new person that's on the case so now i have to go back and tell them stuff that i i thought was already in my past like i don't want to talk about it but i have to because it's not just about me when you grow and you ask the questions that you haven't asked before you start to ask instead of why is this happening to me you start to ask what is this trying to teach me but life really is all about perspective and if there's there's someone with a positive mindset i would say it's me with slight anger issues i uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i get a little angry <laughs> i know what you're thinking natavia how do i let go of the past how do i stop being angry the cold hard truth is therapy any form of therapy anything that could calm your mind and put you in a state of meditation. For example, soaking up the sun or writing down my feelings always makes me feel better. But that's coming from someone who's been in and out of therapy since they were 15. Whatever has you angry about the past, it's time you work through those feelings. Make no mistake, you have every right to be angry. Every right. But anger is the reason most of us are so stagnant. And we want to be thriving in our 20s, spiritually, mentally, physically, everly. All I know is I don't want to keep being angry at my past. I want to heal. I want to be a better person.
There's a reason I'm always dancing. It's because it lets out positive energy and you could see how I'm radiating. I believe in order to find any peace of mind, I need more structure in my life. I need to map out what I'm gonna do every day. And goddamn, I don't want to, but I need to find me a goddamn job. Please, I got embarrassed. Don't look at my eczema. Once I find a nine to five, I believe that my life will start to fall right into place. But as I'm getting my life together for the 50th time in my 20s, I need to remember the importance of mapping out my feelings, including feelings of anger. Even if my anger never goes away, all I hope is that I could be there for myself emotionally. That means ain't nobody getting in no relationship soon. No thank you, no thank you. I'm good, I'm cool. I want to stop being angry, so I'm gonna stop being angry. And I also want to stop being a psychopath every time I like someone. So I'm gonna stop being a psychopath every time I like someone. Because I'm not gonna like anyone. I know right now is the time I need to be here for myself more than ever. Anyways, thank you for joining us in today's episode of Natavia's World.